Hi, it's Mike from Hobby Print. We've got an Epson Workforce 7310 printer that we've fitted an ink tank attachment to, and we just wanted to show you it working. Um, it also works well with the lid down, and you can lift it up a bit if that's what you want to do. Now, why use an ink tank? They're economical to use. You don't have the hassle of changing cartridges or refilling constantly refilling cartridges. And the biggest benefit, I think, is it allows you to use the ink types that you wish to use, i.e. if you have a specific brand of ink for photo printing or poster printing, or if you want to use dye sublimation ink or something else. So those are the features. Now, we're going to change the angle of the camera, go to a different camera, and we're going to take a closer look at what the installation entails. Now, apologies, all I've done is sellotape this clamp because where you position the pipe outlet is very much dependent upon choice. So I've just put it together. But I think you can see it's quite a neat installation. You'll also note that this ink tank is not on the tabletop. What we've done is we've elevated it to the same height as the cartridge height, the printhead height. And just to remind people, the reason we do that is we do not want the ink tank above or below. If it's below, it will not pull the ink up to the cartridge or the printheads. If it's high, if it's too high, the ink could drain down into the printer. So that's why we do that. How do you use it? What is it you have to do? Well, the only thing you're really going to have to do is fill. And how we, you would go about that is fairly simple. Let, let's take the cyan. You, you've got increments. You'll see what I mean um, on the side there. You want to be up just as it's coming down below the third increment. And let's just take some yellow and let's just show you how you would do that. You will pull your bung out carefully Using, if you're using Photo Plus, which we hope you are using, you'll see the bottles are pretty much designed to do that and you just give the ink a squirt in up to the required level. I'm not going to fill it at this moment in time because I may need it for other demonstrations. So that's how easy it is to fill. And there is 100 mil of ink in each of the colours. So... That means there's about seven or eight cartridges that you're not going to have to fill. Oh, by the way, just a reminder, you may receive the ink tank with these air bungs out. The system will not work unless you have... Uh, sorry, I'm going to say that again. You may receive the ink tank, the filled ink tank, with the air bungs in. Now, it's important that you remove them before you start printing. This allows air to do its thing and replace the ink that you're using. Without it, you're not going to go printing. Right, other things to draw your attention to in using it is there is a white reset button. And I'm going to use a pencil to point to it just here. Just there. Now... When the printer and the cartridge work out how many drops of ink that it's used and it's reached a point of empty, you may get a message flash up on the printer screen or on your computer that says the cartridge is empty or normally the cartridge is no longer recognised. All you would do is, if it's asking you to change the cartridge, you'd hit OK, the print cartridges will park up and you hold in that white button for five to 10 seconds, release, and then it resets it. And that really is that. A good economical way of printing, trouble free, and the way that we've set the hobby print ink tank attachment up, um, you'll see it's fairly convenient. Oh, one thing, just before I go, I'll show you how easy it is to remove the ink tank from the installed bracket. All you would do is bring your hands, click one end up, the other side, take that up as well. 
There we go. And off it comes. And as you can see, there's a holding bracket there. It, it serves to give you a nice, neat assembly, but also it serves to set the height. And to reinstall it, it's as simple as... And that's it, there you go. And you've got full accessibility. I hope that helps, thank you.